as we are taking you live to our state's capital in Austin, getting ready for day two of the impeachment trial for suspended Attorney General Ken Paxton. Witness testimony is set to resume at 9 o'clock this morning. Chris Sonnegy is live in Austin with more. So, Chris, you spent much of the day at the Capitol. What is it like? Well, Carol, once we got past those procedural votes and those not guilty pleas, finally we got to the opening statements and the testimony, and we got our first idea of how this case might play out, how the prosecution and defense of Ken Paxton might happen. First, his defense team said that this impeachment trial is the result of what attorney Tony Busby called a powerful lobbyist and drunken speaker seeking vengeance, a not so subtle shot at House Speaker Dade Phelan, whom Paxton himself has criticized recently. They also said this case is being unfairly tried in the press rather than fairly tried before the Senate. But the House Board of Managers said Paxton not only abused his office, but tried to hide the preferential treatment he gave to one of his donors, Nate Paul. The first witness to testify was Jeff Mateer, a former first assistant under Paxton in the AG's office. And he said it became obvious to him something about Paxton and Paul's relationship did not seem right when Paxton wanted to argue a motion in a district court to help Paul in a relatively small case, a move Mateer said is unheard of for a sitting Texas AG. General Paxson has some wonderful qualities, but he is not a litigator. And, and to think that, that he would go into court arguing a motion just, just made absolutely no sense. And the Board of House Managers made sure to have Mateer testify that he was nominated for a judge position by former President Donald Trump. They want to make clear that he is not a Republican in name only, as the defense would like everyone to believe, probably he and a lot of these witnesses that are testifying. But Mateer is expected to be right back on the stand this morning when things get started at 9 o'clock. Mark, back to you. Okay, Chris, thank you for that update. And of course, after day one of that trial wrapped up, Paxton put out a message to his supporters on X, formerly known as Twitter, saying, quote, I want to thank you all for your prayers and support. I will never back down for defending freedom. Of course, we're offering extensive coverage of this trial from start to finish. Investigative reporter for WFAA, Tanya Eiser, and a panel of political experts giving us insight and analysis of that testimony beginning at 8.30 this morning. You can watch it at home or on the go at WFAA.com.